There are a variety of different tools that can be used as treatment options for someone if they receive a cancer diagnosis. And these include surgery, radiation therapy, or even newer type of molecules such as monoclonal antibodies. However, it's very common for someone to receive chemotherapy for a type of cancer that they may have. Now, cancer grows much more quickly than non-cancerous cells, and a lot of these different drugs take advantage of this quickly replicating cell type. Now, chemotherapy drugs typically contain a metal compound, and for example, cisplatin contains a platinum compound to help kill these cancerous cells. Now, chemotherapy is typically given via an IV injection so that drug can go directly into the bloodstream. And one advantage of that is that chemotherapy can then go anywhere in the body to target wherever that cancer may be. But a downside of that is that it's not specific to just killing cancer cells as it can also kill non-cancerous cells as well. However, chemotherapy typically kills cells in three main ways. The first can be interfering with cell replication, so stopping that process from one cell dividing into two cells. The next can be triggering apoptosis, which is a form of cell death. So typically these type of drugs can tell a cell to produce certain types of proteins that then give it a signal in order to die. The third type can be triggering a lot of DNA damage. If a cell is experiencing too much DNA damage, whether it's cancerous or not, it's not going to be able to replicate and those signals to trigger apoptosis are automatically going to be turned on. Now these are just a few different ways that chemotherapy can work to help destroy cancerous cells within one's body.